When we built our hydroelectric project, there were no fish passage issues because salmon and steelhead were blocked by the Pelton Round Butte dams below us. The early 2000s is when the Pelton Round Butte project was relicensed. That triggered a series of events, and of course one of the big actions we need to take is to get passage past the Opal diversion site on the Crooked River. It took almost 20 years from conception to a completed fish ladder in 2019. I believe this was primarily due to the collaboration over that sustained period from many, many organizations. What really stands out for me in recovery of mid-Columbia steelhead here in the Crooked River are the partnerships and the partners that have come together. They've had a long-term vision, wanting to restore these fish, seeing the cultural, economic, social value, and really the value to the community and future generations that will come and be able to benefit from the fish. So I think that speaks to community values. In my 28 years of working with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, I would be challenged to come up with a project that has required more collaboration and more partnerships amongst a diverse group of, of individuals. What I love about this project is it epitomizes what we're doing at a bigger scale here in the Deschutes, that we are working collaboratively, we are hitting things when the timing's right, we are bringing together funders as partners along with those who really want to see the fish move through the system. So this is one example of a pretty amazing group of partners in this Deschutes area. I feel like this is the perfect example of collaboration in the basin because it was state, federal, tribal, utilities, non-government agencies coming together without litigation and without a regulatory kind of driver. It was everyone proactively coming together to try to figure out how to find a solution that achieved fish passage and also balanced kind of the needs of the community. The tribes are very excited to see that this has come to completion now and that uh, all parties have worked together to see it. So it's been several years in the making and uh, we're finally uh, seeing it operational. <laughs>